a big win for the Congress in Ampati. The victory significantly makes the Congress the single largest party in Meghalaya. A lot was at stake in this crucial Ampati by poll. And the Congress, under the leadership of Mukul Sangma, held its ground despite an aggressive campaign by the ruling NPP. These visuals speak for themselves. Congress workers in celebratory mood, and rightly so. 27-year-old Miyani Dishira, the daughter of former Chief Minister Mukul Sangma and a greenhorn in politics, has made it big in Ampati, a constituency her father ruled for 25 years. This, despite the ruling NPP putting all its might in the campaigns during the run-up to the bipole in a bid to wrest power from the Congress. Early trends showed a neck-and-neck -neck battle with the Congress and the NPP keeping pace with each other till the second round of counting. However, once the Congress took a lead of over 1,300 votes following the third round of counting, chances of an NPP comeback looked bleak. Come the fourth round, and Clement Moment of the NPP was trailing by over 2,300 votes to Congress's young Miyani Dishira. The fate of the bipole was almost sealed by then, and the rest, of course, is history. The Congress retained its over two-decade-old baston, winning by a margin of 3,191 votes. We were expecting a, a good result uh, from uh, Ampati, and uh, thanks to Dr. Mukul, uh, for pitching uh, his own daughter, uh, Miyani, and uh, has been a wonderful victory for uh, Miyani and for us as well uh, in the party. Perhaps uh, uh, people still want to try with a newcomer and, uh, and still um, hope uh, Miyani keeps up the good work and uh, we should see a bigger margin in the future. While the victory came as a welcome gift for debutant Miyani Shira, it has surely provided the much needed boost to the Congress, especially former Chief Minister Mughal Sangma, who was touted to have lost clout post the Congress's indifferent show in the Assembly elections earlier in the year. It is another thing that Mughal was always confident of a win in Ampati, and it is this confidence that gave him the luxury to choose Song Sak over the constituency he ruled for over 20 years. Meanwhile, the Congress's win at Ampati is already prompting some serious ball ticking in Meghalaya with unconfirmed reports coming in that former Chief Minister Mughal Sangma is slated to hold a meeting of the Congress Legislature Party to discuss the future course of action after emerging as the single largest party in the state with 21 seats. In fact, Sangma has already said that the Congress is considering all options and may as well call on Governor Ganga Prasad soon. So thanks to a Congress win, Mikhalia is expected to be the hotbed of politicking at least for the next few days and it will be interesting to see if the Congress goes on to stake claim to government formation as was being impressed upon by certain party leaders in the run-up to the polls. With camera person Francis, Russian Rai reporting from Northeast Live from Shillong.